Hello, we are Wallows, and you're watching The Permanent Brain Press. Hi everyone, it's Chloe with The Permanent Rain Press, and today I'm happy to be joined by Wallows. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. great. Very well, very well. It's going great. Happy to hear. So <laughs> could you start off by introducing yourselves and your roles in the band, but you have to say it in a different style or accent. Ooh. Uh, all right. Wait, what do I like to? There's a. Wait. Um. Band. Okay, I got. I got. Band. The in. Guitar. And sing. I. Dylan. Name is my. Something like that. <laughs> that was pretty good. You so thought about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice work. It's backwards. My name is Cole. I play in a little country band called Wallace. Drums. <laughs> yes. Uh, what do I? Wait, wait. <laughs> There's one I. Oh scary. yes, indeed. No, uh, for sure. I mean, I play Braden the Masters in Wallows, and I play the guitar and sing. You play a Braden <laughs> and pretend to be Braden. I pretend every day. Nice to meet you. Great, make some styles there. Um, so I have to say congratulations on the release of your debut album, Nothing Happens. It's about leaving behind your adolescence, which is so fitting because you've been building up to this release for the past 10 years. Now that you can kind of look back at the process, what's a moment that stands out for you? Wow, the first one is playing this Battle of the Bands at this swap meet. And um, we were one of three bands, and then there was a bee attack. So <laughs> bees started swarming and everyone was running while the last band was playing. And uh, that stands out. It's one of our first shows. Yeah, we were what, 13? 13, 13 yeah. We were, and there was a little cardboard cutout in front of us. It said KGMC band, but we were called The Fever, so it was really confusing. As long as those bees weren't there during your set, right? Nope. <laughs> no, we got the bees' knees, but they got the bees. They got the stingers, yes. So um, right, let's talk about the album. Um, mm -hmm. There's a mix of songs, scrawny, more lighthearted, and then more emotional uh, and vulnerable, Do Not Wait in mm -hmm. particular. Um, I still have the bridge and outro playing in the back of my mind. It's so captivating. Wow. For each of you, which song are you most looking forward to bringing out on the road? Mm. Oh, man. I mean, well, we did our first show of the tour last night, and it was really, really our favorite show yet already, um, purely because seeing people respond to the new songs. I mean, like, Naturally, Are You Bored Yet is exciting because that's like been the single and people just sing that song really loud. And, uh, we, we know now, and that's cool. But also, like, I think bringing Do Not Wait to, to life live is, um, that's really, that feels really nice to do. I like that one a lot. Because um, it gets very, like, we have, we have lights on this tour, so we, we bring it down, and, like, it's, it feels, it feels, it feels like a, I don't know, it feels like a bigger thing. And I can't explain it, but I don't know. That's for me. I don't know about you guys. Um, Scrawny yeah, off. Scrawny was really fun to play because that feels like us, like with guitars, like it's a good song to play live. Um, I also like playing Ice Cold Pool because that's probably our most most complex as far as like instrumentation and arrangement goes live, and it's fun to like exercise those muscles. Yeah, I'd say we'll Remember When was my favorite. Yeah. So you yeah. just played your first Coachella. Mm -hmm. That just happened. Yeah, was, what was that experience like? It took an eyelash. No? It was super yeah. s surreal. I mean, we, we mm -hmm. went to that festival since we were kids. So we, we would go and just as fans, and we'd always wonder, will we ever play Coachella? Like, yeah. oh. And then um, actually playing it was super fun and surreal. Like, we drove up and got to, you know, go hang out in like our little trailer thing. And like, I had a Red Bull for the first time in like six years. So I was getting hyped. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it was just crazy. Like, the just the response and people coming to see us was just weird. It was just a weird thing knowing that people were there at Coachella. It's like, eh, so strange. Yeah. You guys um, grew up kind of going to Coachella, so obviously mm -hmm. a very surreal experience. Mm -hmm. um, you play Coachella, Jimmy Fallon for the first time, James Corden for the second time. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick a favorite moment, which would it be? Wow. Mm -hmm. Out of those three? <gasps> I'd say, um, I, I, ooh. Coachella's pretty special. You know, Coachella was very special. That was one of the three, right? You said? Yeah. Mm hmm. That's great. I really liked Fallon because we like food in New York, did the whole bit. And I, I love, I like Fallon's show a lot. But <laughs> we we performed the song. And it's a, the first time we performed it, there was this crazy, like, technical issue. So our Danny, our keyboard player, like, 
there's the second sound that he activates at the end to make to fill it out on the last chorus and he goes to hit it and something happened during the changeover where the decibel level of that sound was increased like literally it was like 30 db or something which is a ridiculous amount it was like 37 times was, the uh, yeah, up. yeah it was like it was like a stupid amount louder and so we're like you know going along and then last chorus just and just the, the loudest keyboard sound you've ever heard and it was, it was really shocking. And when Jimmy like came over to shake our hands, he like you know did the whole shake. He's like, "Hey man, keyboard came in hot." And I was like, <laughs> "I know, I don't know what happened." Hey, um, if no one could tell that it was like an yeah, no, issue was, or something. Yeah, yeah, it was all good. Like, yeah, like, it was on stage. It was. Thought it was game over. Yeah, as if we weren't nervous enough doing that. I was like, of this course. Is a disaster. <laughs> yeah, I'd say my favorite's James. James Corden. Yeah. Yeah, really uh, cool. I love that set. Playing love with Reggie, you want to? Playing with Reggie, I love. There's a basketball hoop on the roof that I would just love to play, and we walked like this great place. And it was great, and I love Courtney. He's the best. Courtney's yeah. a good guy. Great guy. Great guy. Super nice guy. So as you mentioned, just kicked off the world tour. What is one thing that each of you has to bring with you on the road? Headphones, and I bought a Nerf basketball hoop. If you had to pick one. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, my phone, my phone. Your 100%. phone. <laughs> if I had to pick one, it'd be my my phone. Yeah. Or a wallet, so I can buy things. Nice. But I guess you could pick a wallet on your phone. I brought my Nintendo Switch. Bananas. Yes. yes. You gotta eat problem. healthy in the morning. Yes. Yeah, yes. Good. So you've always talked about walls as being more than just your music, but more like a brand. You know, having mm -hmm. that creative input and control over um, everything from your merch, your image. So, do you have anything new coming on this front? Uh, yeah, we can't make promises. <laughs> uh, I feel like, I mean, yeah, hopefully at some point soon. It's like a lot of things we want to accomplish, I feel like will require a lot of like budget and stuff. You know, like we'd love to have a clothing line one day. We'd love to do stuff like build a Wallace brand, but we got to, I think, I feel like we got to put on a couple of releases first. Yeah. Try to get a couple of. Uh, radio hits to have the money and people that actually want to pay attention to that kind of, yeah, kind of stuff. I, I think right now we're in this phase of sort of trying to establish it as like we're not a band per se. Like yeah we like have guitars and stuff in our music but we want to be able to sort of shape shift so that people won't be like turned away if we want to do something totally different at any point. People who do that best are Brockhampton. Um, yeah. Like uh, as close as Brockhampton as we could be it'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna play a game, a quick game called How Well Do You Know Your Bandmates? <gasps> Basically, I have like a prompt that has each um, band member's name, so that person will answer last, okay? If you hear your name, you answer last. Okay. So, who is Brayden's favorite Disney character? Wait, who answers last? I do. You answer oh. last. Okay, yeah, because oh, you have okay, to okay, give, okay. give it what away. What is Brayden's favorite Disney, Disney character? Disney? Do you even know? <laughs> what, what is Disney? <laughs> um, Disney. <laughs> I'm gonna take a Wait, 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 I don't even know. Who um, it's like, you know, those like, Mickey Mouse kind of, any, like, Mickey Disney Mouse. movies you grew up watching. I feel like I Brandon's gonna come up with his answer first, I think. Wait, what the hell is my favorite? <laughs> okay, we're switch it then. Okay. Let's say, who's your favorite Marvel superhero? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I have an answer for that, yeah. but it's not, it's Shaw the Dark. Wait. Wait, hold on. One second. Like Marvel. Wait, one second. Hold on. This is gonna be so quick. Um, oh, wait. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Are they gonna give you your answer? Okay, we'll go. I'm gonna say, oh, yeah. I was gonna say Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider -Man yeah. Spider -Man. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is Cole's go to Starbucks drink order? Oh, oh, normally it's like a, well, he switches it up sometimes. A lot of the time you do like a nice Americano with some room for half and half. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Um, yeah. Recently I've just been seeing Venti's Coffee, Coconut Milk, No Sweetener. That's, That's for Cole. Recently. Yeah, for yeah, Cole. Yeah, I, I oh. do like, he, they're right though, they're both right. I like oh. switched up. Every once, if, if I'm feeling crazy, I'll add a hazelnut to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they do the Americano with some half and half, or the, Bra the Braden special, the Venti Ice Coffee with Coconut Milk, No Sweetener. <laughs> there you go. Okay, pretty good. And who is the one character that Dylan will not choose when playing Mario Kart? Whoa. Will not choose? Mario. You probably never plays Bowser. Yeah, I've not played as Mario or Bowser. Yeah. Are right, they going to slow you down? There's always one character who you won't choose. I feel like yeah. Bowser moves slow. I feel like I can't. 
Yeah. Big. Right. yeah. I always go for the smaller characters. Yeah. So who, which character do you all choose your go-to? Do you ever have to fight over a character? Or? My always, my go-to has always been Luigi. I just, I've always loved Luigi. But in Mario Kart, I never pick Luigi. No. I, don't know why. I mm. go for like, baby person. <laughs> baby, baby. Baby Toad. I'm baby. I'm baby. I'm baby. Um, you like yeah. I, they're all great. I love all the characters. I like Boo and Toad. Yeah. I love the, the like the me character, the ones you created, the kids that. Have yeah, you can ones. create characters on. We got one named Switch. Tidge. <laughs> Tidge is a legend. Tidge is awesome. You do not. Do not mess with Tidge. I always go for Tidge. Don't speak. Don't mess with Tidge. Awesome. And lastly, um, let's talk quickly about your fans. So you've talked about before. There's a bit of a fine line between Wallow's fans and those just familiar with your work in film and TV. I think with this album, when you started releasing singles and playing them live, that you have had such a good response. You know, people are really relating to your lyrics mm -hmm. and your identity. So is this something that you've noticed as well? Yeah, I think yeah. it's funny. The last time that we toured, we only had a few songs out, and so for us. We haven't played our own head headline show in like over a year until last night. Mm -hmm. So we're still kind of taking in the feeling of like, well, we have over 20 songs. And like last night, everyone was singing every word to every song, which is really insane. Um, but I think as the tour goes on, we'll start to digest that more. And it's very exciting. So. Awesome. And will you be singing more vocals live on tour as well or just in the new music <laughs> coming? Um, you know, I'm back there doing some, some backup work, holding it down. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the future, oh, yeah. my vocal debut. The time is nigh. Right. The time is nigh. Time is true. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to chat. Really appreciate it. Ballers debut album. Nothing happens is out now. Be sure to check it out. And can you guys close things out with your best intimidating stares at the camera? <laughs>